Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. People are doing bad out here. I got the title of this video um, from the elder bishop, Manatazak. Yesterday, he was doing a live stream, and he just threw a, um, a title out there for a video, and I'm going to run with it. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Nader Mekin. Once again, this is not a black thing. You all black Israelites, if you don't repent from your nonsense, the Lord is going to destroy you. All right? The Israelites don't only consist of so-called blacks. You, you got to throw the natives in there, and you got to throw the so-called Latinos in there. This is who we are. But but going right, I'm going to digress, but going right back, people are doing bad out here. Why? You, you see the scripture? You, you see the scripture? You wonder why your rent then went up. It ain't going down either. You see? It, eggs, damn that $10 a carton. Look, look, down here in Raleigh. You, you don't even want to move up north. You don't want to go to the northern states or, or to the Midwest. Or I don't even know how much it is out there, but it's, you know it's hyperinflation kicking in everywhere. But you see, you see the scripture, right? Proverbs 29, 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When, when a righteous ruler, that's why the Lord said, eventually he's going to set one over the earth that is profitable to the earth to where everything is going to rejoice. Ain't going to be no such thing as um an animal being extinct or damn near being extinct. Nah, nah ain't going to be that, man. Israelites digging out the garbage can. Dude, this is almost over. But for right now, people are doing bad out here. Hold, hold on, and y'all worried about a damn Super Bowl game, which is which is rigged. Everything's rigged. Everything's fake. We we got to get the hell out of here. That's why we constantly praying to you. How about Hashem Yahweh Shai? The hair up and come hasten in the day. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. That lets you know who's ruling the earth right about now. Remember Job 9, 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Don't think he's going to do anything but other than be wicked. You, you, look, look, he's, he's just going to be wicked, man. Nothing else. And, and you mourn it. And then the thing about it, who, who's controlling this, man? Let's get this still in Proverbs. Still in Proverbs, remember, people are doing bad, and the Lord said the city of confusion is broken down. It ain't going to get no better here. That's why we need to seek the Lord. And this is just a question. I'm probably going to have to make a part two to this. You see, I just want to just throw this out here. There's, there's a beautiful title that the elder, elder bishop, Manatazak, threw out there. And I'm going to run with it. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind, the ruler. Remember, we just read when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. We just read that, right? Proverbs 29. It's like your Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. Who, who's the real puppet master? The scripture is telling you who the real puppet master is. He, the rulers of the earth, now, not the ones that not no damn Biden either. And not no damn come a lot. You see, no come a lot, Harris. All right? They ain't ruling that. They puppets. But, but the real kings of the earth, the real rulers of the earth, not the real kings, of course, but the people that's in power right about now, put it like that. The, the so-called elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers, so forth and so on, Shook and Groovers, their mind is being controlled by the Lord. So when they come down with these different policies and legislations and bills and things of that nature, Coming in with wrath, it's all being controlled by the Lord. The king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. And as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So when you see these different wars and things of that nature, you see your rent going up, you see um hyperinflation, you go to the grocery store and you about to lose your mind because them damn gases, gas prices so high and that rent so high, you end up homeless, you got to sleep in your car. You wonder why all these people sleeping in their cars and vans and cardboard boxes and all that. The Lord's controlling everything. You, you go to, um, what is it, the Isaiah 
46, 9 and 10. Let's just get, let's just go here right quick. And look, everybody do it. And it said at the end of that scripture, he gonna, you're going to do his will. You're going to do the Heavenly Father's will. Everybody's doing the Heavenly Father's will. I'm not, I'm not willing myself to do this. This is the will of the Lord. The Lord is controlling me to do this lesson. Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. So everything that's happening right about now was declared already. And then everything that's going to come after this is declared already. The book has been written already, Israel. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures like that. See him being made mandatory? Guess who's orchestrating that? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That, that's why we got to seek the Lord. Look, that's exactly why we got to seek the Lord. Because the Lord is controlling everything. But I, I want to go here, though. Because, yeah, this devil, you know what I'm saying, he's in power. He's destroying everything. But what the Lord had to say about that? He's going to come back and destroy, you know what I'm saying, the people that's destroying the earth. You, you didn't know that. You people don't know nothing. The Lord had me do a lesson the other day called, you people don't really truly understand the Heavenly Father or His only begotten Son. You, you really don't. Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. People are doing bad out here. Hell, the animals are like, damn it, leave me alone. A lion can't have sex with, with his um with his um female counterpart without sleazy recording him. Hell, a damn beetle, no say can't just relax on a tree without oh, she's a beauty, Mike. Soon come, leave it or leave everything. This man messes with everything. Look at that deletion toll over there. 36,000. You know what I'm saying? Over there in Turkey. All right? 30, the Lord destroyed 36,000 people at the blink of an eye. He didn't care. Revelation 11 and 18. He looked at you. Look, people doing bad storms. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Damn earthquakes. You know what I'm saying? They cut all, all of that. Play no power. It's the winter time. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. And thy wrath has come. And the time of the dead. That they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. So eventually, if we of that number, if we are to end, endure to the end, if it's the Lord's will that we endure to the end, it's a big giant reward, right? Starting off with our heads, right? And that thou should give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, which are Israelite men, and to the saints, which are the Israelites, and to them that fear thy name. Look, look, that fear thy name. Not the Israelites are saying we don't know the name, but to the Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, and so-called, that fear thy name, right? Small and great, and should, and this is the point right here, and should has destroyed them, which destroy the earth. Who, who's single-handedly destroying the entire earth? Hands down, the water, the air, the people, the animals, nature, N nature itself, you know what I'm saying? Nature itself don't stand a chance. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come and destroy them, which destroy the earth. Nature don't stand a chance, you know what I'm saying, with this devil being in power. And, and, and the thing about it is, real, don't think he's going to change. You, don't you do it. Don't you do it, Isaiah. And look, 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 people are doing bad out here. Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord. Let's just blow it up right quick, because I'm, I'm about to roll. Seek ye the Lord. That's what Israel should be doing right about now. Not mocking, not scoffing. People doing bad as hell out here. I mean, you turn on the news, you go outside, especially in those major cities like Philadelphia, Baltimore, Cali, even here too. But those major cities, New York, the subway stink like hell. All right? It smell like pissing ass and shit. You know? Seek the Lord while he may be found, while the men are still pushing his word. Call ye upon him while he is near. Letting you know we got the name. They let you know we got the name. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to make a part two to this. Because I'm just now warming up. People are doing bad out here. All right? And look, look. And it's only going to get worse. Matter of fact, since I said that, let's just get this. It's only going to get worse, Israel. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14. It's only going to get worse. It's going to be more homeless people. You see? The love of many is going to wax cold and cold and cold and cold and cold. 2 Ezra 14, 16. Let's just blow it up right quick. 2 Ezra chapter 14, verse 16. For yet greater evils, meaning bad times. It just said greater evils. 
You think people are homeless now? You think people are jobless now? You think you're getting paid a low salary now? Hell, you're lucky to be getting paid anything. The way things are going, you, you hell, you let and because we don't want to work, but but of course, if we don't work, we don't eat. You, you got a job, better don't quit that job until you get another one. That that's um job one on one. You you Israelites out there, men, women, before you quit a job, you better make sure you got another one. It ain't no um. Uh, I think he gonna call me back. Um, uh, 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 I scheduled an appointment. You better make sure you got that job before you quit a job. Hell, rob they got robots in McDonald's now running running the restaurant. They they don't need you, Jake. For yet greater evils, bad evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So so it's gonna be bigger earthquakes. You see. More earthquakes in diverse places, right? More storms, more floods, more job losses, more unrighteous decrees, all right? Matter of fact, since I even said that, let's just get this right. I'm, I'm going to come back to that. I, I want to get this right quick since the Lord had me think of that. Okay, because this devil gave me to pass more unrighteous laws. And I'm going to make a part two to this, Lord's willing, on my, on my lunch break lesson. Lord's will. This is Isaiah chapter 10. Verse 1, now I just blow it up right quick. Because remember, people are doing bad out here, right? Hell, hey, um, expensive ass car insurance, expensive ass parts, tires, gas, you name it. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1, woe, destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. What's a decree? A law. All right? A law to further oppress you is, remember, oppression make up a wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart. But our people trust in oppression. They trust that this devil's finally going to know saying, give them a chance and make everything fair. And You better hope in the Lord and stop hoping in this devil. Woe, woe destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. That's what the scriptures say. And their right grievousness which they have prescribed. All their law, 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 child support. You hearing about brothers paying hella child support? All this damn child support, and the baby probably like two weeks old, a damn month old. Uh, shit! Look, look at Neo. Look, 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 look at what the system did for Neo. Hell, I, I can't even name all the jigs. I'm saying they got done dirty. I mean, they got done riding dirty. They, they got done dirty over here in Babylon. Hell, you scared to get a woman pregnant right about now? Because you already know she going to leave. You already know she going to leave. And then the baby probably ain't in yours. Isaiah 10 and 2. To turn aside the needy from judgment. Who's the needy? Israel, the Israelites. And to take away the right from the poor of my people. You got Israel walking around talking about they got rights. You ain't got no rights. These laws ain't created for you. People are doing bad out here. That widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. That's Israelites all day. They robbing the Israelites. You don't, you don't stand a chance over here, Israel. But once again, that's who you go to for help. The, the Lord said, woe to them to they, um, they go down to Egypt for help. Woe to them. Lamentations chapter 4. All right, like I said before, I'm about to make a part 2 to this. I can see that now. Because I ain't even got nowhere near. The Lord had me write down some scriptures. I ain't got nowhere near. Lamentations chapter 4. And I got a road too. Lamentations chapter 4. Verse 17. As for us, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, so-called, as for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. <clears throat> You really, you still trusting in this government. It's all vain. It's all empty. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Okay? You going to a nation that can not save us. All right? Ain't no, ain't no hope in trusting this sleazy E. Ain't no hope in trusting in this system. It's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. You see? Damn water, water with damn lead in it. Come on, and mercury in it. Fucking apples with no seeds, oranges, bananas, everything with no damn seeds. The, the, you, you love this place, though. Second Ezra 14, 16, for yet greater evils, meaning more bad times are on the way. More bad times are on the way. More storms, more floods, more earthquakes, more wars, more violence. 
And they got you caught up in this damn, damn uh, award shows. They walk around with these damn big ass Mario brother boots. Just go, man. You see the perverseness of this place. Everybody act like damn kids. Everybody grown act like kids, and the damn kids act like animals. For yet greater evils than those evils, bad times than those which thou has seen happen shall be done here after, man. All right? It's not going to get no better. Let's get this one right here. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils mean a bad time to crease upon them that dwell therein. I got, I got one more, then I'm gone. I mean, I got, ah, oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. Jacob's trouble is about to pop off. The hour of temptation is about to pop off. Let's bring this last one and I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. So look, look, Israel, you better seek the Lord. Matter of fact, I got two. I got two. Let's get this right quick. And I got one more after this and I'm gone. People are doing bad out here. Second Timothy chapter three. Verse 1, and it reads this note also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come dangerous. Seriously, let's get it. Let's get the definition. Because Israel's not going to get it. You tell them, look up the meaning of a word, that they're not going to do it. A lot of people don't want to know that. They're just wondering where the party at. All hell breaking loose, but oh yeah, where the party at? Driving around, driving around with your music loud as hell to where you can't hear shit. You can't even hear an ambulance if it's right behind you. Your music is so damn loud. You just through. Damn near death, perils, perilous, full of danger. These are the times that we're living in. You, you don't know if that rent man going to call you and say, look, we, we're selling the house. You know what I'm saying? You, you got, you got uh, 30 days to move. And, and you already know anywhere that you do move, you're not going to be able to afford it. People are doing bad out here. You see? Dangerous, unsafe, treacherous. You got to pray before you go out the door, uncertain. Desperate people, desperate, what did it say? Desperate times, desperate measures, crucial, critical, insecure. That, 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 uh, that uh, what did it say? That nest, that egg nest, aka that, that money that you just stacked up. Hell, you're going you, you to eventually have to spend that on something. Difficult, hairy, hairy. Exposed to imminent risk or danger or disaster or ruin. These are the times that we're living in. One more time, Second Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Not lovely times, not happy times, but perilous times, man. And this is my last one. I'm going to go. Lord willing, I'll make a part two to this. Like I said before, I got this um the title for this lesson from um, the elder bishop. Manatazar, yesterday he was doing, a uh, I think it was a live stream. Now he was doing um, a regular lesson, and he threw out this title. People are doing bad, so I'm just um, laying back and off that. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1, But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Just like nobody ain't got to tell you if it's going to be sunny, if it's going to rain, you see if it's going to be cold. Nobody shouldn't have to tell you what time it is, all right? You, you watching the news, you know. You see? You, kept, you keeping up with current events, you know. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, that everything's going to be all right. Rent's getting ready to go down. I'm getting to make everything affordable. I'm going to make your life better. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. When you least expect it, sudden destruction come upon them. As to veil upon a one with child, and they shall not escape. People are doing bad out here. Shalom.